So here's how the typical LinkedIn slash Twitter argument goes. I really should stop doing this. It's a character flaw, but I, I can't help it. So the argument is that someone will say, well, you know, CBDC is going to be um, an agent of government tyranny and will stop you from buying too much ice cream or guns or something. And so then I say, well, how, how does that work? Can you tell me what CBDC you're talking about? And then they'll say, oh, well, you know, the Bank of England. So, well, they haven't decided on the architecture yet. And actually, nobody knows how it's going to work. And actually, how much privacy there is in a CBDC shouldn't be up to technologists anyway. That should be something that society decides. And then we implement. But then I sort of wonder, where does that privacy argument really come from? Because, you know, your mobile phone's being tracked, your credit cards are being tracked, your bank statement's being tracked your cars being tracked. What, what exactly is the kind of privacy that people want? I think we need to be clear about the requirements before we start thinking about what the architecture should look like.